every summer in Maine, where I do my composing, actually, in the solitude of the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, two summers ago, a neighbor of mine brought their 10-year-old son to play for me, and he had just started to take piano lessons. So I was very impressed with the way he played in such a short time. So when he went home, I wrote three little bird pieces in an hour, and I thought, you know, I would teach them to him by rote. So one of the pieces I wrote for him is called The Seagull, and it calls for the fists smashing on the piano to imitate the raucous sound of the seagull. So little Christopher took to it with great delight, and he learned the piece and went home to play it for his parents and promptly shattered the hammers on the treble of the piano <laughs> and broke them really to splinters so that it cost more money to repair the hammers than the, than the parents paid for the piano altogether. <laughs> but it took them a whole year to forgive me. So when I got home, I sent the three pieces to a publisher on a whim, and I got a phone call six months later, and they said, you know, they're really delightful pieces, but what are we going to do with three little pieces like that? But if you would write us five more, we'll publish a book of eight birds. So I canceled everything that weekend, and I wrote five more birds. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to play them to you. They're very short. The first one is called The Purple Finch. Next is called the hummingbird.
the eagle.